Um, All right. We are now live with Legacy Dredge, and we're featuring tonight a very special guest. Um, one of my favorites, the queen herself, Erin Campbell. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, marvelous. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Still coming down from the EW high. I'm just trying to... Uh, uh, gosh, you know, when you're when you're gone for like four or five days, like you just have to. I'm, I'm just not as young as I used to be. Like I, I actually have recovering time from events now, and it's like it's a lot. Oh, I hear it's that. a lot. Oh, I hear yeah. that completely. Yeah. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So like I, I definitely need some recovery now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, well, this is the dredge list you sent me that you wanted to run tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, looks. Fairly stock from when dredge lists have come. There's four straight eighth now. Um, I know a lot of older dredge lists were two breakthrough with one extra in the sideboard and four careful study. Um, I'm assuming the careful studies got trimmed for the extra straight eighths. The breakthroughs increased because it's extra cards you can discard for your straight eighths and stuff. I'm not well, sure. I well, so first off, I, I really want to give credit where it's due. Um, this list is really the brainchild of Orem67 on Magic Online. Um, Orem has been just the the reigning trophy holder when it comes to Legacy Dredge. Like he's consistently, you know, you you look at people like E.W. Landon, who's sort of like the reanimator guy, who you know, thirty trophies a month playing reanimator. You know, Orem67 is sort of our E.W. Landon, and so um, Orem is just sort of you know the the hardest you know puts in a lot of time with it, has a lot of great theories on it, um, and just probably jams more dredge than anybody I know and, and has the results to back it up. And so um, this is kind of the list that he's been working on lately. This is what he's been running. There haven't been too many changes. Um, there's a couple of flex spots in terms of, um, you know, careful study versus street wraith. Uh, there's a contingent of dredge players, uh, Parcher being one of them, if you're familiar with the MTG source boards. Uh, Parcher has been playing Legacy Dredge for years and years, and he's a big believer in the careful studies as opposed to the street wraiths. Um, and then, like you mentioned, you know, the breakthrough, some have two, some have three. Um, I, I've been, I've, I've done both. You know, I've had I've had yeah. you know breakthrough in the sideboard before and things like that. But yeah, there hasn't been too much. Um, you know, there aren't too many deep divides in the dredge community. We're all kind of on the same page. Yep. And so the rest of you can shame me as well. Anyone that views this or tunes in, um, <laughs> as Aaron pointed out, I have two whiteboard city of brass. In this Didn't set. you get my tour rider? Like, come on. Like, <sighs> you know, Mariah needs her green M and M's. I need my black bordered <laughs> cards. You know, like, where are my demands here? You know. I I done fucked up. I'm sorry. Aaron. Jeez. I hope yeah. you can never forgive me. I suppose this means no Snapchat titty. <laughs> no Snapchat titty. No yeah, Snapchat none, none titty. Um, but no, so this is a pretty stock list. Um, I took this list to Eternal Weekend this past weekend. Um, I went six and three uh, the first day, fair, um, which I was really, really proud of myself. And then I lost the last two rounds of day two. And I'm convinced I could have beaten that one Miracles player if I didn't attack his Teferi and I should have attacked him. So I, I, ideally, I would have been seven and, and four. But I, I was very like happy. Five points of damage or something like that. And it was just a complicated scary. call of like I was just really worried about Teferi. Like I just didn't want them getting card advantage, and so I swung in with like ten zombies when I really should have just got in there um, oh. and probably just ignored the Teferi. Like it could be argued, but um, so I lost to two crop rotation decks, which I, I expected, um, two death and taxes, and a miracles player. But I had beaten miracles twice already. Uh, one yeah. of them with main deck rest in peace. So um, the deck felt really, really good. I got really lucky and didn't face any Eldrazi, which I was kind of dreading. But um, the deck felt really good. I won my on camera feature match. And I would I would gladly play this again. Oh, it was I very saw sweet. That. It was exciting to watch you crush Miracle. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. The whole weekend was really sweet, and I think the deck is fun. Um, obviously, your blue matchup is really really good against a lot of the, just the Delver decks. So the I yeah. beat Death Shadow twice, which is fine. Yeah, um, when so your I'm, decks I'm are running really... just off Surgical with no Death Right, it's like Surgical and Death Right together can sometimes be a problem, but just Surgical is not enough. Yeah, you know, so Legacy's in a really weird space right now where it's surgical or leyline. There's no like, you know, and Reanimator sort of made that possible. You know, Reanimator kind of warped the format, and I don't think enough people really talk about that. But um, you know, yeah. no one's really running Rest in Peace or Containment Priest anymore because in the in the time it would take you to do that, Reanimator will just kill you. Um, so a lot of the format is running surgical right now. Even Death and Taxes is running surgical, which we can talk about a little later. But um, yeah. it really is either surgicals or ley lines. And so um, you know, your matchup against anything with ley lines is kind of hairy um but if it's surgical that's one of the reasons why the street race are there because right. if they take a dredger you can just sort of um respond and, and take the dredger and, and laugh <laughs> yeah. um and so legacy is just in a really unique place right now but the format's really sweet um i had a lot of fun playing this weekend and um, i'm really looking forward to playing some more legacy 
Yeah, so basically post board against like a deck you don't run surgical, you're going to be a little bit slower, you're going to be a little more careful, like with, you're not just going to like crack an LED and say, okay, let's do this. Like you're going to hold yeah. up your street rates, you're going to hold up mm -hmm. like your breakthroughs, stuff like that. Yeah, um, and it's very light boarding with this deck too. You yeah. know, I sent you Orm's latest sideboard guide. We're yeah, usually that, for the most part it's like two or three cards in you now. Yeah, the only thing we really go heavy on again is the Eldrazi decks, where you're bringing in you know upwards of six or seven cards, and, and even then they're so, not great. You know, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, you board very light. It's pretty easy to sideboard in terms of that. But you know, I had a lot of really thought provoking games this weekend that you know I really looked back on and was like, God, I really there were so many ways I could have played this, and and I think that's a good sign of of a deck in a format when you have that many choices and you know when the games are really interesting like that. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, I think like Deathrite banning was probably a little a little over the top, but at the same time, like the Deathrite banning was awesome for Dredge for sure. Because like now it's just like, you know, people they're either surgicals, which aren't usually enough, just like a, a surgical or two, or it's Leyline, which you have to mulligan to, and a lot of times you're gonna mulligan to like garbage where you you can't mm -hmm. win a game, so that buys you time to answer Leyline anyway. Um, yeah. And there's not that many recipe decks out there these days. Like most yeah. decks are like, okay, I'm on Snapcaster Mages and I can snap, I can surgical, snap, surgical, etc. And they think that's going to be enough. And it's just a lot of times it's not, especially when yeah. you're like Stuart Wraith is now in the deck, you know. Yeah, and I actually beat a Miracles player who had main deck rest in pieces, and he was like, this isn't how I thought it would go. <laughs> did you end up winning um, but, games two and three, or did you win? Oh, I won one, game one two? and two, bitch. Like, oh, it was wow. main deck, and yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, and so that was that was amazing. Um, so yeah, Miracles feels good. You know, the blue decks feel good. You can typically race Ant or Sneak and Show um, yeah. if you want it to. Um, so it's it's a good time, I think. Yeah. yeah, I know, like, a lot of Grixis Control I've been playing lately, like, game one is, like, unwinnable essentially against dredge like, <laughs> you can maybe force a card and buy a little time but like then you can like you know here's a baleful strix i'll bolt it to get rid of your bridge that you found and oh there's two more bridges crap i can't ever win you know and then post board you get surgicals and it's like yeah sure i got surgical snap surgical but that's just not really enough <laughs> yeah and, and then there's you know what do you surgical you know um you know it's it's really easy when um, it's really easy when you're dumping, you know, two dredgers and they're the same dredger. But, you know, do you even bother with a dredger? Do you wait for the Narcomima? Do you wait for the Icarid? Do you wait for the Bridges? I mean, there, yeah. there, there really are, you know, going back to what I said about, you know, kind of thought-provoking games, it's like the, the whole surgical thing is a really interesting discussion of what do you take, you know? Yeah, exactly. I know for me, usually I'm just taking Icarids. Um, yeah. That's usually my first target. My second target is like Bridge from Below. And yeah, because... Like, if I get that far, usually it's a decent game. Yeah, it's usually not the first surgical that does us in. It's usually two. Oh, um, so the first Kendra's one is, is adorable. Jesus. Well, there goes our 0-5 record because Kendra's here. She needs to suck up luck for her next tournament. Just, <laughs> just you, saw, you see she day two'd another one? She just I'm telling you that's it's, her. Did I ever tell you my theory on her that she's just a luck vampire? A luck vampire? I believe it. I believe she it. Just comes I blame around Kendra. These, <laughs> she just comes around to these streams and she's like, hey, y'all. Then she just slurps it up with a straw hey, and sucks up all the luck. Two o and to... Two five. Right, and then she goes <laughs> two, to three, GPs right. and day twos with our luck. You know, yeah. we're like fueling her. It's like some X file shit. But yeah, I gotta make sure to make you a mod so you can better. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one thing I actually, one quick thing I want to discuss is I've noticed four leyline of the void in the sideboard now. That's that's a new one because usually, from my experience with dredge, you don't generally see graveyard hate coming out of your own board. That's actually not true. Um, so going back really? to, um, okay. if you look at uh, Richard Feldman, who wrote The Dark Art of Dredge Foo, um, there's a, a maxim or a theory of the only decks that respect graveyard decks are other graveyard decks. And so, sure. um, yeah, we don't want to be, just because we're doing, you know, broken things doesn't mean we want, we want you to be. And, you know, and again, that's sort of a nod to Reanimator. You know, the Reanimator matchup, you know, Silent Gravestone is great. And if you ever resolve one against Reanimator, it's hilarious. Um, but, you know, sometimes the games are still too close for comfort. And so you just really want to, um, you know, really kind of slam that down and, and be able to do your own thing. So I don't think it's that unusual at all. In fact, I've been, I was playing ley lines as of a couple of years ago and we're actually running them in modern dredge now too. Yeah, um, so okay. we, we really understand, like we respect other graveyard decks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it looks like on the draw, you're minus two street wraiths, <laughs> minus necroid, minus thug for four ley lines. On the play, you're minus four wraiths, minus necroid, minus thug for four ley lines and two gravestones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you want to be just, you know, a little bit faster. And so, and the reanimator matchup, I think, is fine. Like, I didn't really have a problem with it before. Um, you can win through a grizzle brand. Um, you know, you just have to go wide. Um, so really I, wide. I typically don't <laughs> mind, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but yeah, I typically don't mind the reanimator matchup. Okay. So, well, why don't we get into this? Mm -hmm. I don't think, it, I think as much as we're awesome, I don't think people want to just chat for an hour or so. <laughs> 
Excuse me, sorry about that. <clears throat> but yeah, so you had a pretty decent run at uh, EW, so that's awesome. Yeah, I had a really, really good time, and 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 I just had really great opponents the whole weekend, and um, like I said, just really thought provoking games, and I I had a lot of fun. I was yeah, really glad. You I played went. vintage too, right? I did. Yeah, I played in the vintage main too. How did you do? How did you do in the vintage? Um, I dropped at three and five. Um, oh, no. I don't think there was anything really wrong. Like I, I faced a nice mix of decks too. Like I can't say I really lost to. You know, I think I just lost to kind of the typical dredge things, just kind of variants. I can't really say. Yeah. Um, you know, I had a Jeskai deck that surprised me with Ley Lines, which was kind of unusual. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, just mostly variants for the most part. But, again, I had really great games. Yeah, Probably like could have done some things differently. Molded 2 to get a Bazaar, Molded 0, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, we also kind of struggle with outcome a little bit. So, you know, we just weren't uh, as fast yeah. as the outcome decks, which I was yeah. expecting. So. All right. Yeah. And, yes. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, yeah. and we're on the play. Ooh. So there's also going to be, I'm interested to see if we're going to get any crazy stacks going. Because I was able to do some, you're able to do some really fun things with like LED and Street Wraith. Um, uh, you're yeah. really able to have some like busted starts. Uh, so, so we're on the play. Um, I think we should mulligan this. If we were on the draw, there might be, if we were on the draw and we knew what they were playing, there might be an argument for draw and discard. We could but like clean up, yeah, discard. Yeah, no, this is very shippable. It's still early. It's seven cards. Okay, mulligan. Um, this is not, this is bad. This is fine. So you can, um, you definitely want to slam the imp first, mm -hmm. um, or you could even go therapy just to maybe clear the way, but we don't know what we're facing yet. So yeah. I would keep this. I'd keep okay, this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I'd bottom, bottom that. Bottom right. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Uh, uh, so just imp on the play? Yeah, I would slam the imp. Um, just jam. Because we don't know what they're playing. So yeah. like, I'd hate to therapy and then get wasted and that feels terrible. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> They're probably reading it. <laughs> Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's awesome. So remember, at their end step, you can pitch the thug. Yeah. Um, and then ideally, we just break through. This is Death Shadow. Okay, so they're probably going to, if they're smart, they'll take the breakthrough. Okay. Which is fine, because you have the imp and the thug engine going, where you can just keep discarding the thug and dredging yeah. it. It's cool. And, you know, you can still hard cast the therapies here. There's several, you know, targets you can think of, so this yeah. is fine. It's definitely Death Shadow. It could be Grixis Control, right? I like Some controllers don't... are on our Inquisition and Thoughtseize. Really? I've only known it to be a Death Shadow thing. Oh, okay. Okay, I could be wrong, but I, I don't know. I didn't know Grixis, Shadow. Grixis was running it. <laughs> you can make um, a wager. They I took the therapy. They took a therapy. Huh. So, sure. So that must mean they have counter magic. They they must not care about that, which is fine. And again, we don't even really need to cast anything. So like, yeah. so let's just dredge for. Okay. Oh, we had a dark. We'll back. take it. Wait. All right. I would therapy here just to maybe clear the way for that breakthrough. Okay. Um. So we have a land. Oh, we're weak to we're weak to days and force a will. Um, but I feel like, what do you feel like we should therapy for? Um, if I'm going to therapy here, I'm probably just therapying for either Brainstorm or Force of Will. Probably Force of Will. Yeah, we can also flashback the therapies if we find some bridges. So yeah. I like, I like naming either Force or Days. Maybe Spell Pierce if we're out of options, but. I think Spell Pierce is something where like we can go to like second main and like sack the end after discarding a thug or something. Sure, sure. So I usually just blind Force. I just say yeah. Force. Yeah. Huh, Okay. So opponents not responding. I feel like it's more likely force than days, otherwise they probably just dazed. Um yeah, maybe it's dash out. Let's see what's going on here. Bam. Um, I mean this could still be uh this is probably Grixis or it's probably blueback control actually. Okay. Well we hit players. force a will, so get rid of it. Yeah. Um and then uh there's a new thing there's a new that's really nifty. Is that that is that tab new? What's that? This this tab that you're looking at with the hand. Uh, and this it, is I don't the revealed you. cards. Um, therapy didn't used to reveal the cards when you did it, but now it actually shows them. Right, and you can actually cross them out individually. Like I just noticed that. Oh really yeah, yeah. Easy. That's been a that's been a feature for a long time. You can huh. actually. Okay. Just... I've only seen people started. I've only noticed people using it recently, and I'm like, that's okay. really awesome. So we have five cards in hand. We obviously don't want to discard the breakthrough, so we're not going to get threshold here. So, no, and that's fine. Yeah, okay. Um, I would just swing in for the one. Um, and then, so far, the coast is clear for a really sweet breakthrough. So, yeah. let's hope they don't find anything. Mm -hmm. All 
right? And I'm just probably holding up on the activation of this just until yeah, just end step. End step, yeah. yeah. Let's see what we do here. There's a ponder. Okay. Um, I'm getting a lot of feedback from you. Can you turn your gain down a little bit if you have a microphone with gain? Uh, I don't think I do. Okay. <laughs> Uh, your background noise. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my, my my microphone for my uh, camera seems to be really strong. Apparently. So okay. Yeah. There's just a lot of white noise. Let's see here. Uh, okay. So they they chose not to shuffle and then they fetched it away. So they must they still didn't like must not have like because they're pondering again. They must have uh, at least a card. Yeah. Let's see what we dredge with the four, and then we can go from there. Ooh, hello. Okay, so I see some Grixis there, so that's interesting. Uh, end step, I'd pitch the pitch to you. You could even do it now. They they probably don't have anything. No. I don't like their advanced search will be more. Yeah. Okay, there's that. All uh, right. So, anyways, um, so we have, do we, we have, have, have any? I would eat the street wraith, yeah. Okay. I mean, they're tapped then, out. They're not interacting with us at all. Yeah, and then just stretch um, the four. Uh, Sweet, more yeah. food. And a couple more um, therapies too. I would, so I would attack first. Yeah. You always want to attack first, because we're not dread returning or anything here. I miss dread returning, but. <laughs> We really don't need it. Yeah. Um, okay, so second main, I would sack the Icarid to the therapy. Yeah. Because it's going to go anyways. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then what do we think they have? Can like, we just what counter? Porcel again? Well, Day sucks too. Well, we have one more therapy. Worst comes to worst. Yeah, because we really want, I, I mean, ideally this breakthrough needs to resolve because it'd be hot. I say, I say name force first. Yeah, they at least have one blue card in hand and mm -hmm. they don't have a force will, so they can pitch a card if they. Yeah. Have a force. Um, like oh, close is clear. What's your name? Okay. Pitch the imp to the pitch the thug to the imp. No, 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 no. Pitch the thug to the imp. Okay. And then cast breakthrough. Oh yeah, because we don't have a treasure. Yeah. Thank you for catching that. Like mm -hmm. I said, you're gonna try to make me not look like a fool, but I'm gonna probably end up looking like a fool. Um, All right, let's hope to God this chains. Okay, so go four. Yeah. Sweet. Stinky. Five. And an Archimeva. Oh yeah. Grave troll. There we go. Six. We're, we're burning. Oh, another grave troll. Six. Sweet. So we just drew like 23 cards, <laughs> effectively. Yeah. Um, do we find, oh, I want to rip that hand apart so bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So how many bridges do we have? Uh, we have one bridge. Those true names are going to be a really big problem. Let's go ahead and break one of those Narcomibas up and take those true names. Okay. Uh, and if we have another therapy, I might even consider taking the Gourmet and just really stranding them. Absolutely. Try um, to yield to these. Yeah. Yeah, true name is it can be a problem for us, so I'm always happy to get rid of those. Oh, I hate true name anyway, so I agree. Yeah. What am I on here? Oh, my opponent's good. That's what's going on. Oh, sweet. <laughs> okay, so Grixis is pretty light. I think we just do like a breakthrough and a thug we get rid of, and then we just bring in like um, I think it's just two gravestones. Uh, thug and breakthrough for two gravestones. Yep. Yeah. They're gonna be on snap and. Yeah, they're just gonna be on snap surgical. Um, they yeah. might have a spell bomb, but you're not gonna go. You're not gonna worry about one spell bomb if they have it. They have it. It's fine. Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Thug and breakthrough for two gravestones. Mhm. Mm Gravestone is so good. Like just and when you're able to slam it, it feels amazing. Yeah. It's such a godsend, and it's funny because I remember it was my preview card for Magic Mike's, and I remember there were people that were like, you know, oh, Aaron, we're so sorry. You know, you got a graveyard hate card. And I was like, don't cry for me. This card's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, so I'm was... not a reanimator player by trade. Yeah, no, I'm a I, player. I love this Like, game. I certainly don't want to, like, I'm not taking credit per se, but, like, I definitely saw potential in the card. So I kind of like this hand. Minus the white border to save brass. I'm sorry again. I like this as well. So you definitely, it's a little land heavy, but if you can slam the imp and you have the grave troll, which you can protect from surgical with street wraith. And so I, I like this. Okay. You might even be able to draw on this card. Like, you might even just, let's see what we draw first. Yeah, I would like, we can try slamming the imp here. Okay. And if you counter an imp, that's fine. We'll just. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> so you really want to counter this? Sure. Good yeah. For you, buddy. Oh, they let it happen. Okay, this is great. So ideally, at their end step, you'll dump the troll. Yep. They'll try to surgical the troll, and then you'll cycle in response. Yeah, we'll dump the troll, but we'll wait for our draw step for sure to make sure like we don't have to worry about 
surgical or anything like that? No, you can do it at their end step. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, like, we'll wait on street rates just in case they try to surgical before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step, right? And I might even hold on to it just longer than that, just to be sure. Yeah. Which I will keep it. <laughs> Beautiful tricks. Young Pyromancer. Ooh, sure. Um, so I'd pitch the troll here. Right here? Okay. Yeah. Do we pitch the bridge from old now too, or do we wait until we get like Narcanimas and stuff? And I would, gonna I would wait. And, okay. So imp, you don't have to go hog when you have imp. You, you, you can play it careful. Okay. So let's see if they take the bait. Okay. Well, they're not taking it. All right. All right. Go to draw step. Stretch that. Sweet. Hit an Archimeba. So if they try to start with Dark Amoeba, do we pitch the Grape Troll and Street Wraith to try and get another one to save it? or No. No? Okay, we just let him have it. I think it was a good well, well, hmm. That's actually not a bad line. I hadn't thought of that. Hmm. I've actually never tried that before. So, I mean, right here, if we don't do anything, they automatically just get all in our Kamibas. So that's kind of my thought process. It might not be I'm not, Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we hit anything. So, yeah, dump the troll and then street wraith it and see. Because they've, yeah. They have a second search, but we're just screwed. No, no, <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can hit one before. I've never, had, so this is a really interesting line I would have never thought of. Yeah, go ahead and. Okay, so we so, didn't. That's fine. Yeah. But, I mean, we still have our Grave Troll. We have yeah, we still have Icarids. We're still doing fine. Yeah, we're fine. They did target me. Dark me, right? No, they chose Bridge from Below. Oh, they did. Oh. Well, huh. That's fine. I actually, that's actually not bad for us because one of the issues with Young Peasy is it makes blocking really annoying. But yeah. if you don't have to worry about exiling your bridges, you can just say fuck it and keep crashing it with Icarid. Like True. I'm fine with that. So yeah. especially when like our Narcomibas and our future and stuff flying. Yeah. Um, um, so do we have I'd threshold play. yet? Yes, we do. I'd play the land because uh, that way you can dredge thugs if you need to and cast them. Um, and I would just swing in. Okay. Yeah, you can even cast like a Stinkweed Imp if you had to. Like, we've got a yeah, lot of land, it's fine. Yeah, we can also flashback Fifth Zoo next turn if we really want mm -hmm. to. Yeah. Dig through our deck. Yeah, so I'm fine with this. So I guess here the only problem we might end up running into is that they have Snap or Surgical again. The fact they're on Young Pyromancer makes me think this is probably more so a, uh, and Wasteland as well, this is probably more Crixus Delver. Sure, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything to do with that. <laughs> land for days. Delver, sure. Yeah, so we definitely ought to be aware of days. We get to a game three. Well, I mean, we're sitting it with three mana on our hand. We don't care about days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're not are we trading here? Or are we just no, you're not straight? blocking yeah. a token. Okay. This is dredge. We're not blocking tokens like a freaking peasant. Uh, um, no, oh, you should have for... pitched. <sighs> I'm going to put enough keep stuff on so I don't look like an idiot. Yeah, I always have one in dredge four. All right. Uh, I get something good. Okay, so we found a Nicarid. Um, I would swing in with the... I'd get in with the imp while you still can, because it's not going to block. Yeah. There's really no need to cast Thug right now. Um, thug could be fun for, like, looping Narc Amoebas, which you can do, but we're not at that point yet. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to discard the troll, please. Don't forget to discard troll. Got it. Forget to discard troll. All right, here we go. And step this time on Wayne Storm. Should we be firing off any of these therapies anytime soon, or without bridges, it doesn't make as much sense? No, you have no value in doing so, and there's nothing you really care about. Yeah. They're just playing shitty blue spells. <laughs> this is very true. Yeah, you're being way too cautious for a dredge player. <laughs> Well, usually it's like Dread Return, where you just kind of go all in and like try to get it. No, you know? there's no reason for that. Um, there is, I know one of the sideboard suggestions was, I think it was against the, um, I think it's against Checkpile. You still bring in like a Dread Return just to, um, just to sort of a plan B against Surgical. Where like, okay, fine, if you Surgical this, I'll just make a really big Grave Troll yeah. and laugh. So, um, discard the Troll, please. Yep. I am not doing my usual F2s and F6s and crap like that. Yeah. For a very good reason. <laughs> I will forget. There we go here. What are you doing? Oh. 
field surgical or snap surgical coming on. Yeah. Brainstorm. Okay. Brainstorm. So okay. Probably dig for a surgical or whatnot, trying to get that. Let them. Let them. <clears throat> Most you, you have to learn when you're playing dread, you don't care about half of what people are doing. Mm. Next time we can fit swimming as well. Mm hmm Like you really have to put on a good poker face when you play other people because you just don't give a shit. Like and people want you to like be like, oh yeah, that's a scary card. And you're like, I'm not giving it to you. Um, go ahead and eat a street wraith. Yep. Okay. Um, and then dredge six. Dredge six. Another sweet. Uh, sweet. Uh, yes, I will use that ability. Seems good. Um, okay. So should I just play my land in second main phase, flashback inserting, trying to keep? <sighs> So the problem is, if you cast any spells, they can counter them and make more tokens. Yeah. Um, so I would be, inc I might even just crash in, like, because yeah. you ain't here to, I would just go with, like, the Icarid, I would go with the Icarid, the Nergami, I mean, like, again, you just want to race them, and so what are they, what are they doing, like, yeah. but if you don't, and I kind of ran into this with my Merfolk opponent, when he had the Curse Catchers, chat was like, why isn't she casting spells, and I was like, because if you cast spells, that turns on Curse Catcher, and then they exile your bridges. And yeah. so when you don't have bridges, you're able to just kind of attack with impunity. Sure. Um, so I just keep crashing in. So they're at 10. Um, I'm fine passing here. Like I said, you... If we don't... They can't... If they're not making tokens, they're what are they doing? So... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just keep returning Icarus and stuff like that. Yeah. It was just my thought process was like casting a pit sitting, maybe we take two more accurate and we can race. Well, it. you're also taking two damage to do it. Yeah. Ah, so curious. two damage and the risk of it getting countered is just too great. Yeah. This is fascinating. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played Dredge, and I was not very good when I did play Dredge. <laughs> I might throw the Nerk Amoeba in front of the Delver. Like, that's fine. Okay. And we'll take two from the tokens. It's cool. Sounds good to me. So we have a troll in the yard. So now we could, in theory, we could possibly start looping Nerk Amoebas if we wanted to. Uh, let me see what we, uh, we dredge here. Sure, that's fine. Keeping their surgical. So that pretty much, I think that leans towards they probably have Snapcaster Mage. That's fine. Um, so we're not discarding this. No, you already have a troll in the yard. Okay. Uh, go ahead and eat a Street Wraith. Okay. Or like a Putrid Imp or something. Yeah, and then Dredge Six. Whatever not Dredge or Creature. So I would get in with the Flyers at this point. Um, I mean, they're going to block with the Angler, and that's that's fine. Um, um, do we just hold back the Icarid and try to cobble therapy and see what they got going just in case we want to do something else? We could do that, yeah. Like the anchor blocking Icarid just like, okay, don't yeah. have any value there at all. Yeah. It's just a free block. Um, you could also, yeah, I would try the therapy plan and just see what they're sitting on. Okay. Um, uh, true name would be annoying here. So name true name. Well, I'm, I'm just going over ideas. Um, true name would be annoying. Snapcaster is annoying. But if they had Snap, they probably would have done it. Yeah. Um, what do we care about? Bolt would be annoying. Oh, okay. Because um, we're at 10. Um, there's a couple of possibilities. They might need Bolt. They have Sweet. Bolt. And they have Pierce, which is good to know. Yeah, so Spell Pierce, that was a good call of not casting any spells because that gives them a token. So now they, they can't really make any tokens. So, uh, um, here to block the Garmag. Or... Yeah, I might do that because then you can loop a Narc Amoeba, and I would take the one for that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like taking like one life like saves us four five damage. Mm -hmm. You save four here. Yeah. So then what happens is you will you will dredge the Nar you will dredge the troll, flip the Narc Amoeba, have another blocker, and yeah. yeah. If they attack with Kermag, they have like less blockers for our current mm -hmm. stuff too. Yeah, and like I said, they only have a spell pierce, so unless they find something else to make tokens. I'm actually surprised I didn't spell pierce that. I guess yeah. we had mana up at the time, but still. Still not a token. Their spell pierce is like dead at this point. Mm hmm. I'm surprised they didn't bolt in response. Yeah, yeah. Bolt was the clearly, <laughs> clearly easiest, you know, yeah. thing to do. 
I'm not going to complain. No. Uh, okay. uh, throw the thug in front of the fish and take the four. Okay. Makes sense. And then be sure to put Narcomy Bound on top. Okay. One Synchrony Map on top. Gotcha. <laughs> Terrible actually accidentally hit Sacred in there. Okay, I still have a few blockers, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we're not hitting, we haven't hit our other three Icarids, which would really change the game. Uh, so they found True Name, which is bad. Yeah, um, bad yeah, for us. Burning Fire Passion. Uh, we have enough food, you don't have to really discard any trolls anymore. Okay, I'm fine. You can uh, eat the future dump. Yep. Um, and then dredge six. Yep. Okay, so we found there's another one of our Icarids, which is a little late. I would have liked to have seen that earlier. Um, that would be nice. I might just fly in with just the future dump because it ain't blocking. I would pitch. Yeah. You got to you got to pitch a flyer. What's you got to pitch. You have to pitch to give it flying, and you didn't do that. Uh, I can do this though, right? Before blockers, I can. Pitch. We can try. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Okay. There we go. Yeah, because priority I'm... has to get passed before blockers. Yeah. So there are four. And so uh, I guess we don't cobble therapy for spell pierce, and then you just cast it, right? You called it cobble therapy? Cobble therapy, yeah. Freaking weirdo. Um, oh, oh, yeah, oh. don't yeah, don't cast any spells because then they're gonna spell pierce and get a token. So, so if we cobble we, therapy for the spell pierce, we could flashback. I guess flashback dancing means we're just straight dead, probably, right? Yeah, no, we might even just be dead here. So, like, if we block the fish, yeah, we're still just dead here. So we can block fish. We can block. Yeah, we're yeah, just dead we're here. Just dead. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So All right. Yeah, we really needed to hit the Icarid sooner, and yeah. we didn't. Um, if we, because look how close that game was. So yeah, yeah. they were at four life, and if we had Icarid mm -hmm. turns earlier, they would have had the pride block with the Pyromancer, stop making tokens. Yeah, so we just didn't find our Icarids fast enough. So, so you can see like the one surgical didn't necessarily matter. Um, yeah. If there's a in this, I'd be tempted to keep it. Yeah, I if you had a street could... face. We're also on the play, which is a problem too. Yeah, if you had a street wraith, then you can keep this as well because you could do like um, you could crack, and then in response you could cycle, and then you could still get a dredge. Yeah. I would ship this. If you were on the draw, there might be an argument for draw and discard. So this is a, this is a fine hand. Yeah. So you have study coliseum, a dredger, and two bridges. I would keep this, and they're mulling too, so that's a good sign. Yo, yeah, you keep that. This hand is great. I would play the city of waste or city of uh, brass first, so that way they don't. If they want, because you really want that coliseum. Having uncounterable drawn discard is great. So if they want to waste anything, let them waste the city. Okay, so I start a careful study. Yeah. Um, do we <clears throat> pitch stinky bridge? I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with my usual luck, I draw Narcomy off that. <laughs> All right. Let's hope they don't surgical that. But we're still okay if we do because we have faithful setting. Okay, so they're going to waste that, which is fine. We can't cast the Faithless Looting, but still, we still get a dredge here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Seems fine. So we don't have any dredgers, but that's cool. So we just Coliseum um, go? Or we yeah, Coliseum go. To no, you want to Coliseum go. We're going to do a normal draw next turn, and if we find another land, that's really good for us. Yeah. Or there might have been an argument for... Careful study or whatever. Yeah, there might have been an argument for playing the Coliseum first, just to make sure we could hit the looting, but... Uh, yeah, fair. Hey! Oh. What do we have in our eight in our graveyard? Ooh. But we don't have a dredger. We really oh, want to yeah. have a dredger in the yard first. Just play Dark Adam? No, because you're taking two to do it. Oh, yeah, good point. So what do we do, just pass? Yeah. Okay. It's just a Delver, you don't care. Yeah. Not quite fast enough. So lightning revealed lightning bolt. bolt. Okay. So we're taking three. So we're just drawing go. Just passing and draw go. Yeah, what else what else are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking like we could separate Coliseum to get dredgers in our yard, but No, you don't want to do that. Okay. You're not that hard up yet. 
I found a red source. Bitter, Bitter bl bless their heart. Okay. I haven't seen that out of these decks. Okay. Okay. Breakthrough. Ooh. So this is an argument for doing draw and discard now. Like if we activate Coliseum now, mm -hmm. we can put a dredger in the yard and then break through next turn. Yep. Um, or we could break through here, dump the whole hand, and then Coliseum next turn. True. So if we break through here, that leaves us one mana open. We don't get dazed. Yeah. Um. I don't mind that. Like I, I don't like. I, I don't. I think that's a fine idea. I unless like they that. Wasn't that an act of Delver and a Lightning Bolt in hand, and like better yeah. blossom, like things aren't getting better for us. Yeah, I would just try the breakthrough here, um, and then we can dump the cards and hope we don't get surgical. Okay. Um, like these bridges are going to start losing value. Sweet. Yeah, good. dump it all. Okay, so now we have two dredgers, which feels good. So that way, if they surgical, it's fine. But they also have to choose between Icarids and Bridges. So yeah. this feels good. Uh, K, Kaner, MTG. Yes, dredge is very fun for you, not for your opponent, usually. We don't care about them. Like, <laughs> why are you telling me this? Like, um... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So you're going to want to do this in response to the Icarid trigger. You're going to want to activate Coliseum. Um, so be, be sure you have that. Make sure you don't I do that. I'm going to on, and when Icarid comes up, okay. I'll, get a, I'll get a okay. chance to respond first. Okay. Yeah, so I would, well, because we don't want to exile our Street Wraith, or because... What, why wouldn't we? You just want more. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Did they? So they chose not to shuffle the ponder. Correct. Okay. They're fetching it away anyway, so okay. What you got, bud? Oh my god. Okay. Awesome. Sure. <laughs> Seems fine. All right. Upkeep. Crack it. And then let's draw 18. Sounds good. Hopefully, we have more grave trolls. My luck. Not gonna hit. No, uh, nope. There's Stink Weed. We got Stinkies at least. Yeah, there's another guy draw. Draw okay. 17. Close enough. Yeah. Didn't find another Icarid though, did we? Uh, what is with us and our Icarids? <laughs> uh, go ahead and bring that Narco out and feed that Icarid. It's like a Xanago Luck, I'm telling you. Uh, and then yeah, we still have a this turn though, so. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no more Icarids still. Jeez. Well, yeah, I think we did find one. Did we? Yeah, there's one at the bottom there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. So so we don't need to block here. We don't need yeah. really need to attack here. Just I would just let die. that thing... We have therapies? We could therapy, yeah. We could therapy for the bolt now that they're tapped out. Yeah, now that we know what's in their hand, yeah, I'd take that bolt out of there. Because at this point, we're going to go wider than they are, um, and it's going to hurt them a little bit more. So I'm feeling okay here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The grave had two bolts in hand. Oh man. Well, yeah, the last hope. I don't think they care about that card. Bless their heart. We sure don't. Um, well, so there's no way we did it. So wait a minute. Yeah, you bring up a really good point. Um, so if we break up again? the... Can I finish? Oh, sorry. Yeah, Thank you. Um, so <laughs> if we, you bring up a really good point. The Liliana can be used to kill their own things. Um, so there might be an argument to kind of going wide and like breaking up the, the, Nar the Narcomoeba at this point. Because um, they're making... Yeah, I, I could see that. Yeah, if you want a therapy for that, that's fine. You know what's funny? As I was bringing that up and I said that and interrupted you, we don't have another couple therapy in the yard. See? Don't you feel dumb now. <laughs> don't you feel dumb now. <laughs> Oh, after all um, Yeah, so this is fine. Uh, Legacy Dredge is not running Creeping Chill. No. Necklace is super tight. There's been some experimentation in Mana List with it, but LED Dredge is just packed so tight, we really don't have any flex spots. But I think Mana List has room for it. Um, 
So I'm anxious to see if anybody does something with that. I think there was a young man in the Drudge Facebook group who went eight and three, and I think he was running it in there. I don't recall. Uh, take the one. It's fine. Last time, it's very unfortunate. Hopefully, they don't see the line. I mean, they have two cards in hand. They're probably going to play it out anyway. Let's see. Okay. okay. Let's see what they do. They hit an Arkham, but that'd be great. <laughs> they hit a zombie. <laughs> oh, baby. Yes. That's fine. Uh, don't tell them. Don't tell them. <laughs> that's. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, Ooh, yeah, girl, you get them Delvers. All right, feed the children. Uh, we got here to feed them. They're on the street, right? That's that. Got you got an imp in got there. Too. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Dredge six after this. Yep. I do have a grand in here. Wow. Go me. So, oh, ooh, there's another Nagamiba. Any carbo therapy? I mean, I have no cards in hand anyway, so. You could therapy yourself. Um, that's something you can also do. So sure. we're still like, I, I mean, I might be fine to just kind of let the, the Icarids die here and then just wait till you can like alpha strike it. So mm -hmm. I would, yeah, I would just, no. Yeah, I just would. Hmm. Well, I think Icarids just die here makes sense to me, but. I, mean, I might therapy get... yourself just to break up one of the Narc yeah, okay. and then just, uh, yeah. Therapy again? No. Yeah. No therapy. You didn't hit one? You need to stop. Like, you love to therapy when there's no... Th I thought there was one. No, no. Okay. No, we didn't hit a therapy off that dredge okay. six. You were, like, just therapy happy. You're like, therapy, therapy. There's no therapy, I dude. I therapy <laughs> all the time. We've Jesus. had 40 cards. This is, like, a Tuesday. This is fine. <laughs> this is... Someone said a really great... Someone said something. I overheard something in, in, in Eternal Week when it was amazing. They were like, you're not playing vintage unless you're in danger of decking yourself. And I was like, <laughs> that is beautiful. So... Well, what I'm trying to say is I have 12 cards left in my deck, and I have not found a uh, therapy. A, a but you did therapy. find another Ick. Oh, no, so those are your cards on the bottom. Okay, so next time, that, so I might be inclined to just Alpha Strike and then under during our turn and let the bridge triggers fall where they may. That makes sense. Yeah, let's make sure I put the bridge triggers where their creatures dying or go on the stack first. No, yours want to go on the stack first. You want to get your zombies? Oh, yeah, so that's like pancakes. Yeah, so yeah, so you want to do, yeah. yeah, so there's on the bottom and then yours on top. How many acres? Do you say I have a third acre in here or no, just two? Man, I'm so bad at finding acres. You, you're just, yeah. <laughs> you can tell that you don't look at your graveyard very often because you're like, there's things in here. And it's like, they're not in there. Like, <laughs> when I put like one to four cards in my graveyard at a time, it's not usually a big deal. Okay, so they picked uh, up on they it. They found it out. But that's fine. Look how far ahead we are. Like, yeah. we're going to bring back two Icarids and crunch in with 12, 14, 16, 18, and zombies alone. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think we're good here. But yeah. Bear, Bear Blossom's going to kill them on their next turn, anyways. Right? Oh, God. I hope. I One, hope. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they can only block six. Yeah, let them. That's six. And that's six, seven. Oh, yeah, girl. You get that wasteland. What what are you wasting for? There's literally no that they love. God bless wasteland players. They will waste <laughs> any fuck. There was literally no merit there. Like, what are we gonna do? Yeah, like, we don't care. Here, story. I love people that just waste just to waste. It's like, do you even know what you're wasting? Nope, it's wasteland. Got crack wasteland. Like, <laughs> all right, like whatever. You do you, girl. They're just bless their hearts, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, so, so I think we just have them dead here. Get them. Get them. Um, so we have... A lot of good that wasteland did you, buddy, didn't it? We have a street right there. You don't care. You're already 13 cards with your... You can eat. You can afford to eat dredgers now. Okay, I'm going to eat a thug. Okay. Okay. Um, are we still dredging here? Just you sure or... are. Okay. Fine. You sure are. We ca we come here to draw cards. We came to hey, dredge, God. <laughs> and we found another bridge. <laughs> Finally, therapies. Oh, and a bridge. Nice. Get so we just all out swing, or... Get in there. I think they're dead. Get in there. Die. Get in there. I'm attacking with this many. Just second block. So. How many is it? I don't know. This many. Figure it out. <laughs> this many. Ooh. Figure out how much you're taking. Yes. Give me those zombies. So that's 18, 19, 20. And they can block four. So that's they can block eight. So they Duh. die exactly. So they're dying exactly, basically. Yes. I am not hard casting Grave Troll, Kate. What are you talking about? 
<laughs> there, is, there is a really neat line you can do with um, cycling street wraith and LED. Uh, yeah, it can be done. Um, I'm like, it's it's really difficult. Oh, <laughs> yeah. sweet, we got there. What Legacy's else? fun. Legacy is fun, and you're the best. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm so happy you agreed to stream. <laughs> I'm 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 not, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm a spaz. Okay, it's not my fault. It's kind of my fault. <laughs> kind of all my fault. It's fine. Right. I'm a cute spaz. There's that. Uh oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna play again. Wow. Yes. Uh, Hand is great. Yeah. Turn one careful study, turn two breakthrough call today. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, yeah, Kendra's here. I'm waiting to go 0 4 from here. Right. She's All ready right. to pull her little straw and just slurp up the luck. <laughs> All right, so you said careful study and a breakthrough? Mm -hmm. And we're probably leading on gemstone mine? Yeah, you can. We're, gonna, we're not going to need this mana that much, and one damage might matter. I don't know. Oh, pitch the troll and the imp. Okay. Oh, this is still pretty awesome. And then go ahead and play that diamond. Or we could even wait just we don't want to get the diamond dazed. But if they... Mm. I think play diamond now, right? Play. Yeah, we're fine. Like If you want to counter a diamond, we'll just break through our brains out. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, good point. No, you're, I'm fine with you playing. Oh, I'm sorry. I, th I get what you're saying now. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about like if they had like force or whatever. No, I was more worried about days or just anything. Like if you want to counter a diamond, fine. I'll have an uncountered breakthrough and laugh. Yeah. Um. So oh I, yeah, girl, get that ponder. So miracles, you can show. Maybe access control or blue back control, but probably not. It's probably sneak and show on miracles. See, they chose to shuffle. This is fine. Um, dredge six, please. Um, yeah, what are you doing? I was about to pull up the graveyards and then the All right, graveyard so pulled itself up. All right. Yay, um, play the diamond. Yes. Okay. Um, play that land. Yeah. So we have enough dredgers in the yard. Like, just I'm fine not cracking the diamond here. I'm fine just trying for trying breakthrough, and if they counter it, we do another one. And if they if they counter the first one, then we crack and have a good time. But I'm I'm fine kind of playing it careful, which is the first one. Okay, so just cast the first one. Don't crack. Yeah, don't crack now. Okay, and if they counter that, then we cast then we the go off. Yeah, crack. but this is sort of okay. the bait. We're like, you know, let me have those. Yeah. What you doing, guys? Oh, sweet. Ooh, nice. Six. Grave Ooh, grave troll. Oh, not another grape troll. Five. No looting either. Oh, There's double looting. looting. All right, and double narco. Yeah, dump it all. Yeah. Oh, that was a good turn. That was really good. I'm excited. Oh, what are we at in terms of therapies and bridges? Uh, two therapies at least. Um, mm -hmm. One bridge. So we don't care about days. Um, I might therapy a force just to let this faithless looting get off. Okay. Um, and break up an arc amoeba. We can afford to eat an arc amoeba. Sounds good. That was a good turn. Yeah, it's exciting. And we're not done yet. Yeah, no. Oh. Wow. What do we got here? Oh, omniscience and show and tell. We have another therapy, don't we? Yes. Well, let's crack the diamond first, and then let's uh, see if we can get some more gas to rip that hand apart. Yeah, I definitely think we will at least take a show and tell. Yeah, um, but let's break the diamond up and flashback that, fake looting. Flashback fake looting. Um, Great two trolls. Troll. Brave troll. Oh, another bridge, at least. Two more bridges. Three more bridges. Yay, we got all four bridges. What's our therapy count? Uh, two. Two. Uh, I would take that show and tell for starters. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think show and tell on the omniscience Emrakul is probably yeah. we actually die here. Yeah, Emrakul is not necessarily game over for us. Um, yeah. Let's get rid of some of these cards here. Well, there might be an argument for taking the ponder over the omniscience, like because if we we do. Mm. I mean, I'm fine mm. with taking ponder just because it lets them not really dig. But they have a ponder next turn into another show until anyways. They're not going to be able to cast omniscience next turn, and I think we have them dead. 
That's true. But then they chill and tell Emrakul, but then, okay. <laughs> they swing enough past Emrakul anyways, because they have the Ancient Tomb. So they're going to go 17. We'll have okay. four more zombies. That'll be nine. That's 18 alone, plus... Oh, I guess that's not quite... Hmm. It's not quite enough. I kind of like the ponder here. I agree. For sure. We might be wrong, but we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. It's Sneak and Show. They always have it. <laughs> oh my god, I like the most amazing game against Sneak and Show recently, and then they just top deck Emrakul after getting to show and tell omniscience. I was so aggravated. I was like, are you kidding me right now? All right, nine zombies. They're dead. Right, let's see what they got. Yeah, buddy. My friend from Maine, Connor, agrees that... Brainstorm, okay. Connor, you're like a Stoneblade player. What do you know? <laughs> Yay! Scoop. <laughs> nice. Stuck. So, um, for like a while there, uh, Orem was running a copy of Sandworm Convergence. <laughs> <laughs> Um, for show it. and tell, and and funny story, I was actually playing in a league one night, and I got faced against Jerry, our friend from Leaving a Legacy, oh, who was on Sneak worst. and Show, and he did show and tell, and I was like, whoops, damn, we're convergence. <laughs> and he was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I was like, pass the turn. And, so, <laughs> and I got there with a bunch of shitty worm tokens, and I was like, this is glorious. <laughs> <laughs> So, so this matchup isn't too bad. Um, they sometimes run like the odd cage, um, yeah. and then but it's usually just kind of surgicals at this point. So, okay. um, yeah. So this should be okay. So notes are have plus to one dread return and Ashen Rider minus one Icarus minus one thug. And if you know mm -hmm. there are cages, you can try two claims and put on a pimp and a study. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is basically a race. Yeah. So. Sounds like it. Who's mm -hmm. balls at the wall first, or what have you? <laughs> If we're really lucky, we'll be able to do the Ashen Rider shenanigans, like where you ETB Ashen Rider, sack it to therapy, and then do it again. It's hilarious. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Like they show and tell you Ashen Rider, get rid of our missions. And then sack You're only bringing in one Dread Return? Uh, that's all the list said. There's one Dread Return, okay. one Ashen Rider for one point. Ooh. This looks yummy. Yeah, this hand is hot. Mm. Let's see what they have. Yeah. This hand makes me feel like more. Uh oh. Right now. Oh, that's it. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, so there's a couple of ways we could play this. We could go all in, or we could therapy. F like, hmm. Oh, I'm not in the business of playing it safe. If I can okay. go all in, I'm going all in. All right, so let's play a land. Which one? Let's play. play it doesn't matter. Say? Just play the. Just play a land. Um, play the diamond. Yeah. Um. So you're going to cast. So you're going to hold priority. So it's okay. very important to I'm do holding that. Holding control. Okay. So cast breakthrough. Yes. And then you're going to, while holding priority, you're going to cycle street wraith, and you're still holding priority, and then you're going to crack the diamond in response. Okay. So then crack it for three red, and then let's see what they do. So even if they counter the breakthrough, you're still getting a street wraith dredge for for five. Yeah. Um, so and let's see what they do. Yeah. Thing. And you've also got some mana for spell pierce. Uh, show and tell loves spell pierce. So if you have to, you can burn the two red on a spell pierce and be like, fine. Ooh, All right, let it happen. Next thing we get. Okay. We get an archimedia back here. Okay. Yeah. What you doing, buddy? Who's a good dead sneaking show player? Got it. How tilted do you think my, my opponent is right now? Well, they might be thinking. I wouldn't rule them out yet. Oh shit! Stinky. No five, one let me guess, right? Oh no, six, grave troll. Stinky. Five. Grave troll? And we found a looting. Thug. Yeah, that's okay. And dump everything. Da, 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 da. Um, flash. Well, do we have therapies? Mm, we no bridges, down. though. Two therapies, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, let's just try the looting. If they let that resolve. Yeah, take that piece. They yeah, if they if they had counter spells, they wouldn't let that they wouldn't have let that resolve. Okay, flashback. Let's do this. I don't care about my phone's graveyard. I need more room. Are they <laughs> are they really gonna counter this? They didn't counter the if they didn't counter the breakthrough and they countered this, that's gonna be hilarious. Plus. Bless their heart. I guess no, plus Oh yeah, I guess plus <laughs> storm wouldn't have actually countered because we have the true red. Oh, okay. Um, we do have therapies, yeah? We have three. Uh, I would therapy for the show and tell us, because we've got Icarids next turn, yeah? Uh, at least one, two. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We just want to make sure they can't go off, so let's show and tell. Uh, cunning Wish. Do we want that Cunning Wish? No, I can't do anything about it now, but... They Wait, aren't we at a, Oh, that's right. We're at therapy. Okay. Yeah, they could kind of wish potentially for like uh, um, trap. Which one is it? Ravenous trap, um, which is unlikely to have, but they might randomly have one. And then I know they sometimes run surg. They're on surgicals too. Yeah. Let's see what they do. We can't do anything about it right now, anyway. Yeah. And they also can't rob this trap right now, anyways. We have to have four more cards going our graveyard, so we can mm -hmm. get our cards back first. I've never. Is that new? I've never seen them run that. Ravenous trap. Yeah. No, I mean, when I was on high tide, it was a one of sideboard Cunning Wish target. So there's a mm. chance this player might have been. I mean, you get a player that gets. You give them way too much credit. Like, <laughs> That's true. That requires some thought processes. It's yeah, no. No. So they played. They happily played the Thunder Ponder we didn't know about. So we know their hand entirely right now. Until they okay, draw I'm card. fine. Yeah. Let's see what they keep, if they keep it or not. <clears throat> Chose not to shuffle. So could be combo pieces. That's an ancient. Ooh. Card. So that's a card that they drew. Because the next card could be show and tell. Ooh. I'm fine with this. Ooh, three cards. I didn't realize we had three. Uh -huh. Sweet. Feed them. No, no, no. Uh, do we have Jed return? Uh, not yet. Ooh. What else we got here for num num num? Future ship. Num num num. Uh, dredge six. Yeah. Oh, and we found a bridge. Yeah. Sweet. And a dredge return. Yes. Uh, I would attack with everything, and then second main, I would dredge return. Okay. What would you take this or Balk, or would you take um, the tomb? How many? We have two therapies. Take both. Shit. Oh, um, ETB and then sack it. Take all your shit. Um, yeah, so I would therapy, yeah, and then just clear the way. Do they have any counter spells? Um, they didn't. Okay. They don't, because we know okay. we know the contents of their hand. Well, we could take the cunning wish, can't we? I think take that first. Okay, level, yeah. yeah. That could end up okay. being a counter spell or some type of uh, graveyard hate. Oh yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, dread return, Nash and Rider. Dread return, Nash and Rider now. Yeah. Uh, let's take the Ancient Tomb for starters, and then we'll take the land and just leave them with the pedal. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so ETV, take that. Yeah. Sack it to Cabal Therapy. Oh, you're so cool. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> take, 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 like um, and then that. what do we... Take the pot. Take the, the Preordain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, scoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels amazing. <laughs> yeah, I had a game against Show and Tell where I was on Grixis Control and they had like the Sage you, so they were able to resolve their Show and Tell. But I put in a Snapcaster Mage and I had Pyroblast in my graveyard. So I went to Snap, the trigger went on the stack, I went to Pyroblast the um, Auditions. In response, they forced that. In response, I like plus I counterspelled that. In response, they plus stormed that. And then they went to Burning Wish, and I spell pierced their Burning Wish. They couldn't pay for it. And then they top decked an Emrakul or whatever. And I was like, you fucking kidding me. Mm, man. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> that was fun. That was that fun. Was that fun. Was exciting. <laughs> <sighs> Delicious. Mm. Now we're running really hot, which means the pendulum's going to have to swing the other way. Because that's just how vari the wheel of variance works. So we could be in for like some really disastrous losses. But yeah. damn it. We're running really good hot, and I think Kendra's still in the chat. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, Kendra's, Kendra's like just here, feasting, so like, yes! <laughs> Feeding her luck battery over there. Yeah. Like, how do we not cash this league? Oh, hey, Kendra's still here. <laughs> and oh, 2-0 to 2-3. Good 
Good job. Yeah, pretty much. Thank so. You. So, yeah. So otherwise, um, yeah. Otherwise, the deck is super fun. I do want to. Um, I do want to stream mana list again. Like I said, I did, I did find a sweet mana list list the other day, and so um, I just, I just got. I'm still recovering from EW. So once the dust is settled, I will stream again. Yay. Are you just gonna stream on the uh, Magic Bites Patreon cast or whatnot, or? I, I'd like to do a little bit on my own stream. I just, I'm just, I just don't have time. <laughs> I'm just so busy where it's like, oh, and I and then like, yeah. And then sometimes you're just not in the mood. Like I, I tip my hat to full-time streamers. Like they, that's, that's work, man. Like oh, God bless them. Um, oof. Oh, they might be on dredge. I think I recognize that name, but we'll see. Oh, okay. oh, this is that hot. Yeah, so you're gonna land diamond, um, do the same thing we did, hold break priority, breakthrough. Yeah, this is dredge. We're gonna race. <laughs> yeah, we're racing here. Oh, reanimator. Reanimator. Or they could be on a mana oh, list. Chancellor. Okay, so we do we just um, pay for the LED, play LED. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're still going to have a great turn, turn two. It's fine. Yep. We could also crack LED and still use streamers. No, there's no. No, if they're on reanimator, they're probably not on any sort of counter spells, and so it's fine. Yeah. If they take the breakthrough, if they have any discard spells, there might be an argument for doing the crack thing, but yeah. we'll see what they do. I know Manalus was running Chancellor at some point, too. I've seen that before. Yeah. yeah. Wait, did we win the die roll or did we lose it? I saw we oh. play, but yeah, we won the die roll. Just making sure. Oh, so Chancellor and Averton. This is probably a reanimator. Yeah. All right, let's see what you got. Looting. looting. That's fine. Hand, which is good. Mm -hmm. It's not the dark ritual special. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about the game against the little boy I played at an open once? No. So I'm I I love cute kids. You know I'm a sucker for cute kids. And there was a legacy classic at an SCG open, and this little cherub comes to sit down across from me, and I just I just kind of underestimated him. I just assumed that like oh shit. Uh oh. Had all. They resolve Elish Norn. We can just scoop. Yeah, I don't think we can ever beat that card main board. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, this feels like a animate dead for all showing. Or Zoom. Yeah. I think Zoom, do we try to go off? See if we can get a really big Grave Troll? No. Yeah, we're just dead here, right? Yeah. Yep, scoop it up. Okay. Um, yeah, so I've, anyways, there was this little boy who sat across from me and I was just like, I was like, hello, little guy. He's like, what are you doing here? And like, I'm thinking maybe he just kind of strayed into the wrong, you know, cause it's legacy, you know? So I'm thinking, you know, poor kid doesn't really know what he's in for. He totally like plays a fetch, cracks the fetch, dark ritual, in tomb, anime deads, Iota. And he's like, oh, you came to play. Like, <laughs> I was just so convinced this poor little kid like made a mistake or like didn't know he was, oh no, bitch, he came to play. And then like, playing? <laughs> and then he was kind of like, he was low-key like trash-talking me throughout the game. He was like, my brother plays your deck. And he's like, I always beat him. And I'm like, listen here, you little monster. Like, <laughs> was he ginger? That would make sense. No. You sure? That's, no. That sounds like a ginger thing to do. No. No All right. So. So, for sideboard notes on the play, it was minus four race, minus eight grade, minus dog, plus four lay lines, plus two grave mm -hmm. stones. So, we're doing that. Uh, so Seems fine. I would just slam the gravestone and pass. I okay. gravestone diamond pass. Okay. Because gravestone, they have to have exhum. Um, yeah. It's still just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so coliseum, gravestone, diamond. So we don't have any dredgers here, but I still feel pretty good just slamming a gravestone. Yeah. They have entomb or exhum. It's going to feel terrible, but. Yeah. We could even just get in with one ones if we had to. Sure. All right, let's see what they got. They have it. I just know it. My luck. Okay, Faith's looting. Here's a pedal. Here's Dark Ritual. Here's an Entomb. Here's an Exhum. 
It was Sire of Insanity. Yeah, but Sire of Insanity actually would be pretty good for us. No, I don't. They don't run Sire anymore. Oh, are they off Sire now completely? No, they haven't run Sire in ages. They just two reanimates. That's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if they had Exhum, they would have discarded bodies, so they don't. So, um, so I would play the City of Brass. No, you want to play the Putrid Imp. That's right, that triggered ability on City of Brass. Uh, pass the turn. Okay. Connor, any more things you want to throw my way? I'm open for business. Oh, yeah, because I said something about Gingers. That's right. My favorite on stream. Aaron. Ooh, that was a good draw. Uh, go ahead and loot first. Okay. <laughs> Alright. My grade's not bad. Ooh, we needed dredgers. Um, yeah. Dump the Icarid in the void because we're obviously not casting that. Yeah. Um, play your Coliseum. Okay. Um, swing in with the Putrid Imp. Okay. Oh man, we could even like crack the gravestone if we had to. <laughs> if we had to, but I don't, yeah. we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> Um, so we're not playing Narcomy Bog. No. Like I said, they need exactly Exhum here, or some form of artifact destruction. So in response to Icarid Trigger, do we want to discard a Putrid Imp so we can get the Icarid back? Oh, wear so they brought in Wear and Tear. Okay. Um, there's no reason to crack it here. Sure, you got it. Okay. Smart opponent. Super cute. Good for them. They're on Black Raven. They're probably just going to corner play up their poop anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what deck gets me salty to lose against <laughs> Black Red Reanimator. Unmasked. Targeting themselves, I'm assuming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have an exhum. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, scoop. All right, girl. Congrats on your deck. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We got, we got we got bigger fish to fry. Did Kendra come back? Is that what's going on here? Can't blame it on Kendra this time. Yeah. Actually, Kendra, we started losing once Kendra left. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's reanimator though. Sometimes they just have it. It's not worth expending brain cells over because Lord knows they aren't. So <laughs> this is why I love you, Aaron. No shade, but shade, like extra shade. Yeah. This is fascinating. I've played Dragon so long. Kind of want to sleep this up again. I don't even have any white border cards put in this deck. That's a shame. I'll have to get some. All right, what do we have? Eighth edition City of Rass one thing. Uh, on the play, finally. Or on the draw, I mean. Okay. Uh, Hands great. Yeah. Yeah, so turn one looting. You could do turn two study and looting. Um, you could even do Coliseum turn two. This is good. Okay. And they're mulling. This is fine. Oh, yeah. With them mulling. So I, I'm not huge on this hand because it's not really that fast. Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, like, you get, like, the turn one, like, looting into, you know, discard. Thug. You only need to discard out a dredger and a land to really just go. Like, this hand is great. Yeah, this is just, like, Pox or something that's going to be great. Oh. Pox is bad for us only because they play ley lines. We don't give a crap uh, about the rest of it. They play ley lines on the sideboard, but... Hmm. Really? What? Okay. <laughs> it's going to be an end of turn in, too. It's going to be another reanimator match. Ugh. Imp? No, you want to slam lootings here. Okay. Uh, probably off Gensel Mine. Mm hmm. On uh, LED. Nope. 
It's fine. Uh, dump the uh, thug in a... You don't need the imps at this point. Okay. Um, if we were facing a combo deck, I might keep the imp as, like, therapy fodder, but I don't... I doubt they're on a combo deck. Okay. Could be on Storm. In tune, yeah. I kind Less of figured Swamp there, Go is, is, like, textbook reanimator. Really? I love Storm. Fuck my life. And your swamps are ugly. What is that? Are those Kamigawa swamps? What is it? Z for Zoom? No, that's Exxon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. How is it you have cool anime dead, but your swamp is ugly? <laughs> <laughs> Main All right, girl. Elishnorn, right? Like I didn't skip for no reason. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Elishnorn's the only. And like I said, if those were Grizzle Brands, we would keep going. We're only scooping because of Elishnorn. You don't give a fuck about any other thing. No race. One for now and one bug out. Um, I don't recall. I just got the sideboard up in front of me. Okay. It could also be that mono black reanimator, like weird, like Lake of the Dead grave type of deck too. <laughs> but I guess there's a Badlands there, so probably. Good not. lord. Ugh, I fucked us. It's these white bordered city of rest. I'm trying to pretend they don't exist. There's no city rats in this deck. That's my fault. They don't exist because they're not. They're because they're extra black bordered actually. It's fine. Yes, we'd love to play first. Leyline! Oh, this, is, this hand is perfect. Is oh, stink we did. Oh my god, this hand is nut. Yeah, so you're gonna ley line, you're gonna you're gonna diamond land, crack looting, and have a good time. I'm gonna punch my opponent in the eye is what I'm gonna do. I'd be doing it harder if this wasn't a light border. So one. you're going to hold priority, cast looting, and then crack diamond and hope they don't have fairy macabre. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, hold priority, looting, crack for one red. Okay. <laughs> Stinky. Grave troll. Yeah, I hit a grave troll. Uh, flash it back. Two Narcomy was. This is exciting. I love doing degenerate dredge things. Um, how many therapies do we have? Uh, one. I might name wear and tear here because that's we saw the last person have it. Um, yeah. And there's really nothing else like you can't you can't reanimate. At least here. a bridge, so it's not like you lose anything. Yeah, I might name wear and tear. How do you name that card? Oh, I guess I can just say it in wear and. It'll yeah. I guess I'll discard whether they wear or tear. Oh, River and Silence is what they have. Well, that sucks. But what else do they have, though? Uh, they just have Burning Catacombs, Double Looting, Lotus Petal, Reanimate, Assassin's Trophy. Okay. So they don't have much going on. You don't know. Uh, no more therapies for sure. So they're going to be a little Reverend Silence for this ley line, most likely. Sure. Which is fine. Sure. I have to say, I've been incredibly disappointed with Assassin's Trophy. Like, when it first came out, I was so convinced it was, like, you know, the answer to, like, so many decks' prayers. And, like, it seems like not many people have really picked up on it, where it was cute, but it just didn't really take off, so. Well, the one benefit it has is, like, you can just, like, answer a Jace. Mm -hmm. It's, like, the one benefit it has. So they've unknown Assassin's Trophy double looting, reanimate, they're gonna use looting here. I guess Alishnor and something. <laughs> Reverend Silence. Yep, I used that when I played Reanimator. Um, it was pretty nifty. It's a card that seems to go in and out of Reanimator decks. For the side yeah. So I guess it really depends if they want the green splash or not. Mm -hmm. Assassin's mm -hmm. Trophy makes sense if they might want the green splash. What did splash. they dump? Uh, Assassin's Trophy Unmask. Okay, that's fine. I'm not looting again. 
So then we know about reanimate. We don't know about the other card in hand. So they have a reanimate. They have at least one, yeah. Okay. So they need a body. Grab grave troll. They reanimate that. It counts their graveyard, not ours, right? Uh, yeah. All right. They discard burn kag on start control. They still have at least one reanimate. But no body. Yep. So all right, sounds good. I got all the answers. No creatures to reanimate, motherfucker. And that's one of the, the the few downsides of reanimators. They they have a lot of dead cards. Where like they have those busted starts, but if they're if they're ever forced to like just draw, like yeah. it's not good. <laughs> like you just I, I can't tell you how many games I lost to like drawing pedals where it's like woo, you know. Like yeah. I remember I remember when they it first kind of took off. You we were playing Simeon Spirit Guide, and so you'd like draw Spirit Guide, and it's like this feels awful. And so <laughs> um, there's just a lot of dead draws. Um, it's not like Sneak and Show or Ant where like you're drawing brainstorms and like ponders and like gas, you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's just so few dead cards. Oh no, there's a lot of dead cards in reanimator. Yeah. I've had a lot of games against reanimator that I win because like, it's like a slap fight with this card early in the game. Then I'm drawing to cantrips. They're not drawing to, yeah. Cantrips. They're drawing to like whatever's off the top of their deck. Yeah. What you doing, buddy? Your hand has two cards, one of which is Reanimator. What could you possibly be thinking about? I'm thinking about reanimating one of our creatures. <laughs> or something. Nope. Nope. No ten step. Sure. Oh. Yes. Feed the children. Do we not have non dredgers? As long as you have trolls, you're fine. Like you don't you, you don't have to necessarily and especially uh, like We've already we're already down to thirty cards. It's fine. Like you can start you can start small with like thugs and then work your way up to imps, but it's fine. Two imps, I can do that. I have four mm -hmm. thugs, I have trolls in here though, so yeah, that's fine. Fine here. Okay, there's a troll. Over therapy again. Oh yeah, get therapy. that reanimator out of there. Uh, so I would attack. First, I'm assuming. Yeah, you always want to attack first because if they'll a lot of times they'll spend mana trying to deal with your onslaught, yeah. and then uh, therapy, therapy that reanimator out of there. Get rid of the sick rays. That's gonna die anyway. Didn't we have a bridge in our graveyard? Oh, we got a zombie. I yielded. That's right. Mm -hmm. Reanimate. Ooh, Rotlock Reanimate. That brings me back. Ah, you have a Blood Samara in hand. You suck. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else we're doing, right? Nope. Okay, pass turn. These can go away. We'll get a couple zombies. And you very dead next turn. Can you scoop? Oh, I <laughs> guess Elishorn can still technically get us. They don't have one. Well, they, yeah. I guess not, yeah. I was thinking, like, oh, they could play Meyer and Faith Sorting if they drew it, and then, no, nope, that doesn't work, because then they have no cards in hand. <laughs> uh, so on the draw, this says drop the gravestones. Yeah. For two more race. Mm-hmm. Okay. There it is. That hand was beautiful. We had action, and we had a ley line, so that was yeah, very good. That hand was so sexy. You might say. Uh, so there's no notes on this matchup. Do we try to mull the way line? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this this is not bad, and let me explain. So I'm just I don't do anything yet. No, no, don't, don't. Right. They're mulling first off. So I'm just speculating. So we play the ley line. You play the Coliseum. You go diamond, diamond. One, two, three, four, five. If we play one ley line. We're not. At we're not at the ability to turn one Cephalic Coliseum because that's what you're asking. That's right, but what I'm saying is we're awfully close. And if they're mulling, I might keep, I would keep those. If they're mulling, do we just keep them just put double way line in place so they have to have two answers to the reanimation? No, because Reverend Silence destroys them all. Oh, yeah, good point. So it doesn't matter. So we only need one. So I, I actually don't mind this. I'm gonna keep because them. in theory, they're going to have to dig to find an answer to the ley line. I, yeah, I, I, this is risky as hell, but I, I see potential here. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about Reverend Silence being all. Yeah, the yeah, it's all of them. I kept as well. That's sure. Six. What you got? Six, buddy. So I'm putting a line in play. Just one, right? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Do they have nothing? I don't know if I get so far. Uh -huh. I'm 
great things from Moldo Hale with Revelant and Silence, and they don't find a fetch line, they don't find a value, they just find like Catlands and stuff. <laughs> that I, That's happened to me before. That'd be delicious. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I always contribute for anime to be like <gasps> culture. So they're anime deading. Sure. So they take, like, I guess they'd have to take LED. It's fine though. It's still a card that feeds yeah. Coliseum. Like we really only need one to pop off the Coliseum. So like, yeah. okay. <laughs> I mean, we also have the second land where we end up getting yeah. there. Like we just top deck faith sitting here. Like we're like, yeah. This is just disgusting here again. Even breakthrough. <laughs> uh, you gotta stop talking dirty like that to me. I mean, I know they're probably wondering why we but... kept this. Like, they're they're probably not seeing it. Okay. They're probably wondering why we didn't put the second light line in play. Right. Because they couldn't figure out the, yeah. the fact that they run the other lines. Okay. 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 I should have taken the thug honestly. Right. Yeah. Uh, Coliseum LED. Coliseum LED, and I would cast the therapy. Oh, so I'm off with LED? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, um, and then we, they run River in Silence, but they didn't have a land. I might go for River in Silence. I agree. Yeah, because if they have Trophy, they still need the mana, and they've missed a land drop, so. Ooh. Yeah, they got nothing. They can make Thoughts Seeds. use us and take our Thug or other yeah. line. Sure, go for it. <laughs> sure, buddy. Or they next find time, next time we can cast Thug and flashback Cobble Therapy and take Faith Swimming if they don't cast it. So they can't take through the deck. I don't know if that's too much, too cute. Or... No, because if you flashback Therapy, that's going to. You still don't have seven in the yard for Coliseum. Yeah. So you need to be. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so. Okay. Discarding this one out of there. Don't find the lane and just scoop. You suck. <laughs> da, da, da. Hmm. Okay. They have one unknown. They have three unknowns right now. They'll discard two. Some of them will probably discard reanimate unless they found an answer in a land. So they discarded Thought Seize and Chance are Reanimates. So we know they have at least a reanimate in hand. Yep. Okay. All right. So do we just cast Thug here and flashback random? Um, no. Or, no. Okay. So what do we do here? Um, okay, I think I see what you were saying. Well, they didn't, um, yeah, they didn't discard reanimate, so chance not yeah. an answer for late line. Yeah, so I would play the mine, cast the thug, flashback therapy. That'll get the thug in the yard, which means you can draw four, and then that should be enough. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't see what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then that gives us the ability to crack LED first. Yeah. And I'll see them next turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the fact they didn't discard reanimate makes me like a little nervous because yeah, yeah, there's a reverend silence. But now they reanimate, so that's cool. So now we know they have. They have a badlands, so. Yeah, and they so they still can't okay. cast reverend silence. That's pretty sure. sweet. I'm excited. I just want to beat reanimator. Oh, that's the problem with thug. Is thug ends up on the top of your library when you sacrifice it? Oh, it goes on top itself. Yep, I forgot about that. Ah, oh, I thought I had to choose another creature. Oh, nope. I'm such a dunce. <laughs> Just like Cephalic Coliseum, I guess? Yeah. Okay. That's lame. I mean, I guess there's situations that are good, but that's kind of lame. Okay. So their hand is Reverend Silence, Badlands, and something else. Yeah. Okay. You can close out their exile zone. We don't need to see that. Still not playing land, so I don't know what they're doing. They might be saving cards for Faithless Looting, like just to have cards to discard. Well, it's like they still have to play a Badlands for that, right? 
Ooh, there you go. What do you do? Just cast Arc Amoeba, start getting some damage in? Or just hold it? I would hold it because we, we really, yeah, we're not, they're not doing anything right now. Like we need, yeah. We really need the seven cards to be able to get the Coliseum going. Yeah. So we have three cards in hand. We have four if we have the diamond. And then, yeah, second diamond, our favorite set puts us at five. Yeah. And they're not doing anything, so this is fine. Good Here we stuff. go. All right, so careful study. Don't use the Coliseum, use the, the mine. Yep. Okay, here we go. Not gonna be yeah. Oh, there might have been an argument for cracking the diamond in response, but we're still good here. Um, just crack diamond now and activate Coliseum. No, 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 no. So crack diamond for three red and then use the confluence to make blue to do the Coliseum thing. Yep. And then hope we hit a faithless looting. Right? Yeah. Oh, that was good. Great. Oh, that's good. Too. Nice. Good, good. Okay. Uh, dump those and then flash it back. How's it feel not have a graveyard when we're, we're doing this opponent? Ha 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 ha. Ooh, two knocking me sweet. Uh, any therapies? Uh, at least one I saw. Yeah. Um, let's get that reverend silence. Let's get that reverend silence out of there. Yeah. We know that's so, in their hand, right? There's at least reverence on some Badlands that we know about right now. Okay. <sighs> That's all reverent, apparently. Where is that? There it is. What you got in hand, buddy? Double and two most pedal Badlands. <laughs> um, I might take those. Oh, good to know. All right. So we're three and one. Nice. Got a revenge against Reanimator. Yep. That felt great. At least getting ticks back, so that's cool. Or play points, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, chest. What do you think, Aaron? It's your choice. We open a chest on stream, or do we just save it and I can sell it for ticks later? I tend to sell them for ticks just so I can keep playing, but if you want to open the, the chest up, that's fine. I'm going to leave it up to you. No, I just gave it back to you. Okay, well, no, I will hold it's your that. stream. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. We'll open it. If we go 3 2, we'll open it. If we do 4 1, we won't. We'll, we won't open it. Sounds so good. We'll get greedy. We go for one. This has been fun so far. It's way easier to play dredge when you have someone that knows what they're doing and there's a sideboard guide next to you. It's so much harder to play dredge when you don't have those things available. <laughs> Are any innovations on the vintage stretch at all? Not really, no. So is this something like Force and Prize Amalgam, or is it back to more of like a traditional? There's just nothing really. It's just nothing really. The power level is so high. Um, like cheap Creeping Chill is cute, but it just doesn't really fix anything. Like, no, there's nothing really we needed. So. Um, I know that some people were high on Molder Hulk. Um, but it, I don't know. It didn't go too well from what I saw. So oh, God. Playing, hand is against, great. We're against someone that was last seen 18 days ago on Blue Red Delver. They're 2 So if, if we suspect they're on Delver, you want to lead with the th with the Putridim because they have to force that. Yeah. Um, I, I would lead the with the Imp here. We can just start discarding Dredgers. Anyway. Yeah, I'd lead with the Imp here, but this hand is great. We're also saving against days on turn two, so that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can get behind this for sure. I agree. That trigger is going to make me end up like passing with mana in pool. <laughs> I keep going to cast amp and it makes me respond to the trigger. To the okay, so this is so this is great. So now we're going to be able to pitch Ooh. our three dredgers, and, and we're going to have. Taxes. So death and taxes is pretty much a race. Um, so oh god, but they don't have counter spells. Um, so pitch your dredgers here. Um. Oh. Okay, so this is going to be fun. So. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, go ahead and dredge six on your draw step. You're going to play the land and cast Breakthrough, so that way we can break through on turn two, and then turn three will Coliseum. Um, Matter. Doesn't matter. Do we want to hold one mana up just in case we draw something like an LED or a pit? No. No, okay. We're not looking to pay mana for spells, Aaron. Stop that. Uh, so, so, oh, I should have discarded. Fuck. I had to discard my Grave Troll first. Yeah. Such a dunce. Well, I got a Grave Troll anyway. That's cool. So we have a looting. No dark on either. That's sweet. How many therapies do we have? Uh, one, two, three. three. And so bridge, two, three bridges. Oh my god, four bridges! Holy shit! So I would. I'm. There's really nothing I care about at this point. I would keep the therapies just in case, like play, they play Mystic, because you want to be able to therapy whatever they grab. I might grab Swords to Plowshares. Do we have any Icarids? Uh, you didn't pitch to the the imp, did you? No, I didn't. So you needed to pitch to give it flying. Uh, we have, I don't see any Icarids, let me see, no, no Icarids yet. I see a Icarid. Isn't that a Icarid? Oh, there it is, yeah, it is. Okay, so, Good eye. <laughs> because you didn't pitch to Imp, I wouldn't attack here, because if they block with Mom, that feels bad. Yeah, I pulled it back. Um, so I would therapy for um, Swords to Plasters, just to make sure your Icarid gets through, but other than that, I would save it for, for Mystic, because you want to be able to grab a Batter Skull if you need to. No, I'm just stopping Narc Amoebas, because I still want to go, oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, that's fine, too. Okay, so this is basically a race. Um, Death and Taxes used to be a lot better before they started running Surgicals, but then they kind of lost their mind and started really overboarding for graveyards. So we really just want to bring in the petals here and race them. Um, we want to grab the Containment Priest or the Rest in Peace, but they uh, have started running Surgicals, which makes it a little more difficult. But... Out in place of petals. I believe it's a land and something else. I don't see anything about Death and Taxes over here. I'm missing it. Uh, oh, actually, he just talked about it. It should be on there, but let me check. He just talked about it today. Um, yeah, one petal on the play, two petals on the draw, cut a city on the draw. Keeping the pimps because you can sack them to therapies. Just cut a city on the draw? Because that's still one short if we're keeping two on the draw. Um, cards? You can keep in one pimp, so get rid of a putrid imp and a in a city. Oh, okay. Got it. Am I missing something? I'm missing. Did you find that in the sideboard guide? Or? No, this is in the Dredge Discord. Oh, okay. All right. They were talking about it today. Um, this seems... This, <sighs> this is slow, but... Like, it's got stuff going for it, but yeah, it seems slow. Like, we can turn to a Cephalid Coliseum, yeah, but that's on the draw, so that's... Yeah, cool. but they're mulling. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Or do we want to just get faster? I'm going to try it. Let's try it. All right. Undone. Because the next thing is, is they also, so you have to remember, Death and Taxes are running surgicals now, but we have a nice, diverse set of dredgers. I don't hate this. Okay. We could also draw a wraith. We could even draw a diamond. Yep. Sure. All right, let's see what we draw. Another bridge. Not terrible. Okay. Um, go ahead and play. Pimp. Imp. Yeah. Okay. Pimp and we'll hold up till they're end step. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, don't have rest in peace, don't have rest in peace, don't have rest in peace. We're shot for it. They can port our lands. Sure. All right, and stuff. Are we just ditching everything? Except yeah, I would dump. Land. Yeah, I would dump everything but the but the Coliseum. Okay. I'm going to wait until I upkeep the bitches on the bridge just to see what they do. I guess we don't need to do this until we're going to kill the creature anyway. Well, I mean, you've already discarded one. I mean, it's already, they can one target second, it. For, yeah, if they're going to surgical or whatever, they might surgical. But they can surgical. <laughs> but the point is, you've already put one in the graveyard, so it's a yeah. target for surgical. Like, oh, if you already okay. put in one, yeah. Okay. Okay, so right. play the Coliseum. Targeting bridge from below. Sure, let him. Yep. 
Thanks, Reanimator. We were perfectly happy before you horror started running surgicals. Yep. No one talks about that, and it makes me like irrationally angry. Like you know, the fact that Reanimator just had like a really warping effect on the format. Like whenever banning, whenever there's a conversation about banning and restricting, usually there's conversations about warping formats, which which implies that a card is worthy of being banned. Um, and it's just fascinating that no one's ever talked about just sort of the. You can literally see just the negative impact that Reanimator had on Legacy, and um, it's just something that nobody really talks about. And I just find it fascinating because it's like you look around and it's like you can see how legacy changed with sort of the rise of reanimator and um and not in a good way i think and so yeah. and for me one of the warning signs was when death and taxes started running surgical like that's fucking horrible um you also didn't pitch to your imp did you yeah i did I, you did I okay. Somehow keep the other branch. okay so you can respond to the rishid import activation by activating your coliseum uh, but you want to yeah. pitch your troll first so yep so let's just hope we don't get rest in peace so the bridges are actually a good call here because one of the ways that you beat containment priests is by casting thugs and then breaking them up into pieces. And so don't have rest in me. Oh, Thalia, that's fine. Um, yeah. All right. They can't circle anyway. Now. Okay. Upkeep. Upkeep. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If Anchor's not in our graveyard, it doesn't matter. We can't get it back. Sure. Know. So just, do we just call him here now? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, shit. I'm so bad at discarding cards before I do stuff. Mm, is that mid? Okay, so we're missing one. It's one card we should, one more card we should add. Uh, oh, we do have two Icarids. Three Icarids? Three. Yep. Three, that's sweet. Yes. So um, at this point, we can just start. Um, I would give that flying and get in there. Yep. So if they had Containment Priest, they would have played it. If they had Rest in Peace, they would have played, played it. I like saving the therapies for, um, again, the Stoneforge targets. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine here. We need another man anyways. We want therapy. Yeah. So it's not like we're losing anything anyway. Yeah. They're gonna wasteland us. Thanks sure. Wasteland. Good for you. What you got, buddy? So at this rate, we're bringing back three Icarids. Are there four in there? I know there's three at least. I see four. Oh, four, yeah. Oh. There's no reason to block Dahlia. No, we're fine. We just want to fly and punch. Mm hmm. Do we have enough food for all four? I have no idea. Um, so we have at least one race. Yeah, we've got a couple grave trolls. Feed them all. Okay. Uh, thug can go. Thug can go. Stinky can go. Okay. That's a lot of cards. Here's another troll. We got another wraith. Call of therapy. So we can therapy them here. I don't know if there's anything we particularly name. No, because there's nothing at this point. We're we're fine. Block all this, Mofo. Is that 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? We're going to put them to 1. They might sort something, which means we're going to put 4. Yeah, no, I mean, if they sort something, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. And they can block and pro mom. So I'll take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sure. I'm just, yeah, that's fine. I'll still take that. It's cool. Yep. That's fine. Yep. Losing a crit. Oh, well. Um, so, Cobble Therapy name Swords again? Or do we name Best Piece just in case they were slow rolling it? Like, this is the one shot we have, though, because our Dead Summon goes right. So <coughs> they could wasteland us, so. Right, I'm just not sure. I mean, we if we rest in peace, we still have four flying in the air. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I don't think we really. I mean, there's. I think swords is fine. Swords, I could I get think, behind. Yeah, it's just go. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anything we're really worried about at this point. Yeah. Like if they rest in peace, like we still have four in the air and they can't yeah. do anything else. It's, you know, we. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Uh, 
punched him with like a fucking palace jailer or something or something. Like that. <laughs> nice palace jailer, a hole. Die. <laughs> Yay! Four one. Sweet. Thank wow. you, Aaron. That's awesome. Four one with legacy dredge. <laughs> and that was despite like the punts and the lack of discarding, but and really we only lost a reanimator, so that was cool. Well, oh two against reanimator because I had turn two on the. But we got our revenge, door. so. Yeah, yeah, we did. You know what? It's a special occasion. I don't usually open chests, but I'm gonna open two. Just <laughs> one eight. I'll open two. Let's open one of these. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that was more. fun. Let's do it. What did we get? Bad stuff. I'm regretting this. Was <laughs> this is right of room? What the fuck is that? <laughs> um, it's a red card, so I don't know. Um, but still, four and one's pretty hot. Yeah, not bad. So, yeah, so the deck is fun. Um, obviously, you know, you kind of picked up on, you know, sequencing is very important. You know, you always want to be discarding cards if you can. Um, you know, triggers are very Ooh. important. What? Brassica Relic Seeker, sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a bit of a leg with the Skype, so you're like a second behind. I'm a second uh, behind you. So, like, you react and I don't see anything quite yet. Yeah. So, um, but, yeah, you picked up on a couple of things. You know, triggers are very important. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Street Wraith has made the stack very important. Like, I got a, I oh, had a yeah. game. I had gotten a, not a game rules violation per se, but like I had tried to do like some breakthrough shenanigans and I fucked it up. Um, and so I, I kind of missed out on that. And so, yeah, there's a lot of, um, there is room for, and you even showed me a line that I didn't think of when they were surgicaling the Narc Amoeba and you were like, we could try to find other Narc Amoebas to like preempt that. I had never even considered that. Oh. So, um, so there are so many lines that are possible now with Street Wraith. And um, you saw how against a lot of the blue decks, you know, it's really just surgicals. And um, if it's just surgical, it's sometimes not enough. Um, yeah, so you really kind of got to see, you know, what's going on lately. But yeah. yeah. Like we got surgical against like Grix and Stelver and that was not yeah. enough. Like we still crashed them. And then like we got surgical against, you know, like just now, what was that track? We were death and taxes and we just ended up like stomping them anyway. Yeah, so that so death and taxes, like I said, used to be a lot better, but now they're running surgical, so it's a little harder. But you know, and you also got to see just you know you don't necessarily always have to attack with Icarid. You can just sort of break them up and then wait until you have enough zombies and crash in there. So we got to attack from all different lines of play and yeah. um, try different things. And so yeah, that's that's sort of my world. In so. all fairness, though, death and taxes being on surgical is actually good for Grudge too, because like a surgical won't necessarily beat you, but like having extra rest in peace hitting the board. That could be you. Like, if that surgical was a rest in peace, they might have actually got us. Yeah. They had two mana on turn two. They did a surgical on turn one on the draw or on the play. They were on the play. We were on the draw. They did a surgical on our turn one. Like, they could have just been jamming a rest in peace there if it was an extra rest in peace. Yeah. I mean, we'd probably lose to that. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to head out because I have to get some oh, chores yeah, done before I go to bed. But this was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully people enjoyed the show and uh, congrats on the four and one. So, thank, you. thank you very yeah. much for joining me. I appreciate it. You have a yeah. good night. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. All right. Well, we're going to call that a night. Thank you very much for joining us for our stream of Dredge. Erin um, Campbell had to go. She's, you know, it's, it's late. Um, I've had a long day at work plus class plus now this. So I'm going to go as well. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, be sure to follow me. It's at Aaron Gazanigo. And then obviously I'm on here on twitch.tv slash Aaron Gazanigo as well. Um, if you didn't get the chance to check out the whole stream, feel free to check out my YouTube, which is also Aaron Gazanigo. It's all very easy. Oh, thank you very much for tuning in, Dark Spire Dragon. Uh, Evil Mailman, it's always a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed EW as well. I know Aaron had a lot of fun. I hope you did, you did too, playing old school. Um, yeah, we're going to call that a night. Thank you very much for tuning in.